two tropical storms making their way into the Gulf at the same time. The same time. It certainly has a It is historical. We've never had two tropical systems in the Gulf of Mexico at the same time. It's going to be a very large, very powerful storm. This morning, tropical storm Laura is gaining strength. It just came in. 50 mile an hour winds now, gusted to 60 miles an hour. The gator season opens tomorrow morning. So you got to bait the lines up this afternoon, whatever. Got the poles loaded in the boat. Got the uh, lines made up. Everything's ready. These storms don't wet us. Now, the goal today is to bait up the lines. This is uh, the gator season opens tomorrow morning. So we got to bait the lines up tonight, this afternoon, whatever, and I'll uh, go, go run them tomorrow. Got the poles loaded in the boat, got the uh, lines made up, everything's ready. These storms don't wet us really bad out there. But actually, this weather like this, the, the, whenever you got something to go for thunder, lightning, disturbance, the turtles and the gators seem to bite better. You catch big ones, you always seem to catch nice gators in bad weather. If the thunder makes them move around or whatever it is, that's not one of those old wives tales or whatever. Yep. Okay. So, we got the poles. We got here. Just milled me, just kid had a chance to get me welding. I just made our official, uh, hooked a string out of the water to get the alligator out, a pole. Rather than go buy one from, you know, wherever, just uh, took down the old dog pen that I had from years ago and uh, bent a piece of rebar and welded a, a good hook, good gorilla hook, alligator hook. It'll last longer than me. Unless I lose it. Bites them like a fish, you know. This is pretty stiff, but got a little movement in it. All right, then we just bait. And you want to uh, try to hide the hook. See if you like leave the hook. See if the hook was hanging, sticking out like this. The alligator can get up there. When he get up, he'll stick himself in the mouth sometime. You try to keep the hook as hidden as you can. Where they swallow it, you know, like like that way it's kind of see it can't he can't uh, stick himself. And uh, you do a little bit off. Alright, one of these can you hold? <clears throat> All this pole does is hold the bait out of the water. Get to come get. Put him about the height of the boat. Just pinch the string. So when he bites it, the pole's pin lets loose, and you got it. So that's a sin. That is just a perfect tree to tie on. Alright. See, when they, when they bite it, it's, it's going to fight them like, just like a fishing pole. Uh, of course, they get on a bank and around the trees and all, but they don't kind of wear themselves out. I usually put like a, a thigh or a, you know, a thigh and a, two, two drumsticks or a good old drumstick on a line. It doesn't take a whole lot. Just it smells, you know, they smell it from a distance. Come find it. Catch him on a wing. That's all you really need. A little chicken wing or whatever. But you find out the lake quarters are good because they're pretty greasy. And uh, when the sun beats on them, they smell really, really right. And the uh, the fat will drip into the water too. I think that probably helps. So, I kind of always do better. Seems like you do better the second day of the season. Because the bait is really getting really uh, seasoned at that point, you know. It's not fun. Uh, it's not fun picking up the lines too when you got to pick them up with the uh, take the old bait off. It's a good job. For those. That's him. I don't put it out in the canal because we got to pass with the boat, you know. When we checking them, 
thing is, we just gotta watch it blow them down. When you hang the string, you don't wanna have it, you just wanna just barely pinch the string where when the gator goes it, it's not over here or wrapped all around the pole. So when he when he bite it, it lets loose as easy as possible for them to swallow it. You just don't want them to stick themselves with that hook. Huh? You tie the uh, you tie the line to the very bottom of the pole. I try to go above one of the joints where the gators really pull it. The, hook, the rope won't just slip out, slip off. But these poles have shell bottoms. I mean, these ponds. A lot of times you have like little clam shells on the bottom. Oh, stumps, logs. So it's really hard sometimes to drive them down deep. They go for a while and then they hit like right here, hitting something solid as a rock. Can't push it down. A little further over. There we go. There we go. Once you break through, so we didn't probably push in 10, 10 feet down. Huh? Uh. All right. That's why you got to cut the pole so long? Bait. <laughs> Pick it out me on an angle. Come sa. Like so. Yeah, it's original recipe on it. Go around the back, move. And, uh, and like I said, you don't want the string to wet the gate on interfere with it. When it gets up and gets it, you just want to let him grab the chicken. So, uh, well, what happened was this line fell down on us. We just putting it back up on the way out. The wind was beating the boat everywhere. But we actually had alligator caught already on a line. Like about six and a half foot, which is very, very odd. I'm screaming, huh? Ain't I? Which is very, very odd for them to bite in the daytime. It's really, really rare. I mean, I could count in 25 years, 30 years of doing this, I could, I could count on my hands, fingers, how many gators I've seen bite in the daytime. And they're usually really, really small. So it's a good sign. Uh, they'll be biting really good tonight. The storm shakes them up. It ain't much of a storm, but they feel a pressure change in, in everything, I guess. survived the first day of baiting lines back in the Trinas. Uh, alligator season opens in the morning. I had to work last night. So I got off this morning, got a few hours sleep. Didn't leave till maybe 10, 11 o'clock. It was a scorcher. Um, thank the good Lord, we had a little bit of a hurricane. Well, alleged tropical storm, whatever it's supposed to be. It wasn't much. We got a little sprinkle. Um, I don't know where it feels breezy now, but it didn't seem breezy a little while ago back in the marsh. It's hot. This has got to be nice. My God. Season opened just now. <laughs> My neighbor sighting this black powder for this upcoming season. Uh, 
but we put the lines out. We baited up about 20, I don't know, maybe even 25 lines. Got the chicken hanging. Actually, we had alligator bit already in the daytime. Uh, one bit, you, you don't see that very often. That's a good sign. As I said, when uh, you get disturbed weather coming in, uh, barometric pressure changes with storms and uh, tropical waves or whatever, hurricanes, it makes them hungry, it makes them move around and bite. I can't tell you why, they just do. So I, I hope to have a, a few gators uh, in the morning. Got some uh, hunters coming in from Arkansas. I'm gonna um, bring them make a uh, alligator hunt. You know, hopefully they might make me bring, bring me make a deer hunt. Got some big deer up there where they're from. So uh, they'll be here sometime tonight. We're gonna get on out there. I got two airboats in position, you know, cause uh, they're little older fellas. I wouldn't want to break down way out in the marsh, 100 degree heat, you know, there's no walking out. They'd have to call a chopper, and they're not, they're not walking out, I can tell you that. Uh, they might leave me back there dead, but they're not going to walk out. So uh, we got two boats. We have a, my buddy driving my other boat. We try to get out kind of early. They're coming in late tonight, so I'm sure they're going to want to get some sleep, but it gets hot after 11, 30, 12 o'clock, you know, and then we got to come home and skin an alligator. So um, that's about all that happened. Uh, no real mishaps. Everything went pretty much as planned. Uh, the only thing I forgot to bring the little pounding device I made to jam the poles down in the pond so I could put as much as my weight on them as I could. But I'm hoping a big uh, whop alligator don't pull the whole pole, take everything out. Every now and then it happens, but it's rare. So we'll see what happens. But uh, thank you all for coming along. And um, sometime within the next week, we'll get some footage, throw in some uh, nice ones in a boat, hopefully. Maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to film any tomorrow or not, but we'll see what we can do. So. Thanks. I'm tired. I need a shower and a nap.